Rebecca Schaake is a Dutch member of the European Parliament and a member of the Committee on Foreign Affairs as well as the Committee of International Trade and she is in Brussels. And Marita, first of all, do you think there is any relief for people in the Netherlands for knowing that some of the bodies are going to be repatriated tomorrow? Well, after all the intense sorrow of the loss of so many innocent people, particularly so many children after the downing of this plane, of course people want to have an opportunity to say a dignified goodbye to their loved ones. But I find it hard to understand how people can find uh, peace of mind after seeing tampering with the site mm. of the downing of the plane, uh, looting of the site and personal belongings of the innocent victims. It is actually appalling that this has happened and I believe that there is a very deep mix of grief and anger in the Netherlands that will last for a very long time. Now in um, Anna Horgan's report there we, we hear from a young man who said that you know, the country was in mourning but there was a feeling that there would need to be some retaliation and I was wondering if there's a terrible feeling of impotence in the country when you say exactly what you're saying about the tampering at the crash site, the fact that you have no control over what's happening in eastern Ukraine? Well, that's why we ask firmly, uh, our government does, and we have today in the European Parliament, we've asked for European support for an international inquiry at the crash site and with all the evidence that is available and unrestricted access to the site. And again, it is disgraceful that it took a UN Security Council resolution to make sure that that process started mm -hmm. moving. So all those who have any influence over the people who are at and around the site must provide their cooperation to uncover every detail of this horrible downing of the plane so that we can find out what exactly happened and that we can talk about how to find justice, not only for the victims and the immediate loved ones uh, of those innocent victims, but also uh, for the uh, acquiring of justice for the Dutch, for all the other ones who have fallen. Uh, this is a, a, a disaster, a catastrophe that has impacted many, many countries. We have received uh, condolences and messages of sympathy from all over the world. And our priority is to seek justice and to bring those who are responsible and their enablers uh, to accountability. Finally, um, today, uh, uh, European foreign ministers agreed to step up the existing sanctions they had decided uh, to place on Russia. Um, what kind of signal does this give to Vladimir Putin? Would you like to have seen more and tougher sanctions agreed today? Well, the perspective of new sanctions still has to be agreed on. And what is essential now is that Europe stands united and makes a clear decision on whether it seeks to continue uh, with trade as if it's business as usual, with energy relations as if it's business as usual, or whether we will finally come together and take a tough stance for fundamental values, uh, for international justice, which has not only been challenged through this terrible downing of the airplane, but has been challenged in a number of incidents uh, over the past couple of months. And it is very, very important that we reassess our stance towards the Kremlin uh, and towards events that are happening in our eastern neighborhood. And I believe it is essential that Europe acts as a strong leader in this world. And the challenges that we are seeing after the downing of the plane in the context of the annexation of Crimea, of the unrest in the eastern Ukraine, but also uh, of broader questions of international relations, uh, merit a strong response from Europe and I think we have to focus on that altogether. Thank you very much. Even more urgently than we did before. Thank you very much Marie-Hirta for joining us.